Hearts friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some skincare tips if you have sensitive skin, specifically if you're trying to get into skincare and really develop a targeted routine, um, tips and just advice that will help you. This is advice that you could use immediately and this is advice that you might keep with you or you might not think this advice is very helpful. You also might think that some of this is general knowledge, and it might be, but I figured I'd compile everything that has worked for me and my sensitive skin to really develop a fantastic skincare routine that worked for me into one video. So if you're interested, keep watching. Tip number one is to understand your skin. And this is going to sound redundant and common knowledge, but some people don't quite get it. And when I say some people, I didn't get it to begin with. Um, when I first started out with my skincare routine, I had very sensitive skin and it was just really bad. Like I would use sensitive skin products. They wouldn't work. They would break me out, but they wouldn't. Like my sensitive skin is the kind that will get red and rotten and pain. Other people will break out. Everyone's different. That's why you need to understand your sensitive skin. So I was using these products that were like not working or breaking me out, but they weren't making my face red and raw. And I was like, hooray, these are kind of working, but I saw no real results. Now I am very realistic when it comes to the results of my skincare. I don't expect magic. I don't expect a bunch of puppies and birds to come out and just says Cinderella me into having beautiful skin and perfect everything. I know that when it comes down to skin and results, it takes time and dedication. So when I'm talking about I didn't see any results, I'm talking about no results after like four to six weeks, like nothing. My cleansers weren't doing a very good job of cleaning my skin, even though they were supposed to be gentle. My exfoliators just were either aggravating my sensitive skin, even though they were for my even though they were for sensitive skin, or they just weren't the right exfoliators for me and I was still having issues. Um, and just other products, just nothing. It would be like I dunked my face in water and lifted it up and my face would be like wet and just greasy and it was just, ugh, it was just nothing worked because I have combo sensitive skin. It was really hard to find products that worked for me. So once I understood what triggers were, that's my cat. <laughs> Once I understood my skin triggers, what my skin wanted and needed, and what products that were for sensitive skin or were for not, that weren't for sensitive skin, but actually worked for me. Once I understood those products, I started to see real results. Don't assume just because a product says it's going to do something, it's going to work for you. And that specifically goes for luxury or higher end or very well-known trusted brands. Everyone's skin is different. You have sensitive skin. You immediately know what it's like for its, ugh, you, sorry. You immediately know what it's like to have a little bit harder time finding products that work for you. Because a lot of the products out there are more for skin types like oily, combination, dry. But sensitive skin can go to oily to combination, to dry. And so like some of the products that might work for your skin type and not your sensitive skin, it was just, it's hard. So what, it's hard to really determine what products would work for you. So a lot of times people will stick with a brand. They will go for Maraud, they will go for the Proactive, they will go for Neutrogena, they will go for uh, Peter Thomas Roth or Ole Henriksen or Dr. Brandt or Dr. Chart or Shiseido or Clarence or Origins or La Cetane or some of the higher end brands like La Prairie or La Mer um, without even understanding if those products are targeted for their skin. They see the names, they know people talk about them and being amazing, and they buy them without trying them, and then they aggravate their skin because you can't do too much to your sensitive skin because it's easy to have it be irritated, for it to hurt, for it to break out. And so they would try these trusted brands. People would try, and when I say we, I want you to know that 
I'm talking about me. It's like the royal we. I'm using myself as an example in all these situations. When I first started trying out all these brands, I immediately went for brands that I knew were tried and true. People loved them. They had a cult following. Everyone said they worked. And I hated them. And that kind of turned me off to really being proactive with my skincare for a while because I spent all this money and this time on these products that were supposed to be really good for my sensitive skin and I see results and I saw nothing. And I was like, if everyone loves these products and it doesn't work for me, like maybe I'm doing something wrong. And I was, or maybe I didn't think it would work for me. I don't know. Maybe I thought my skin conditions were too far gone. So once I kind of got over the mindset that it's not the name of the product or the line of the product, but your skin will results from different things. Your skin likes things and doesn't like things. Um, so there's certain ingredients that might work for one person with combination sensitive skin that's not going to work for you. And so just following a name and just following the hype and the cult following is not a good way to do it. Sampling is the biggest, biggest, biggest thing I can tell you to as a tip and a hack, I think that's not a hack, as advice for especially if you have skin issues, sensitive skin, any issue that requires a really targeted skincare routine. Some people can go out there and literally just buy, you know, a cleanser and a toner and a treatment and a moisturizer and not worry too much about it and just, I don't want to say be lucky, but just be lucky and have it work. Other people need extremely targeted um, skincare routines. And I'm going to say if you have sensitive skin, your skincare routine needs to be very targeted. The reason why is because any glitch in the matrix can cause issues for your sensitive skin. Again, I'm using myself as an example when I say your, we, us. Again, everyone's different. So when I started sampling and aggressively sampling products and finding out what worked for me, when it worked for me, and what dosage, that's when like my skincare like changed, like not overnight, but like within a month. I saw better results in a month after I had sampled. And when I say a month, I don't mean like a month of sampling, but spending time to figure out the right routine and then developing the right routine for me and then following that routine, that month, that first month, my skin improved so, so much. It was pretty incredible. So I would say be very aggressive with your sampling. Don't try too many products at once. I would recommend one, maybe two, depending on how sensitive your skin is or how it reacts to new products. I would say if you're going to try two new products, have one be in your morning routine and one be in your night routine rather than just have two at night in the morning. First and foremost, you're not gonna upset your skin. You're not gonna irritate your skin. You shouldn't irritate your skin. And at the same time, if you get results or if you don't get results, it's really easy to target if it's that product or not that product. If you're trying like eight different things, you're really not gonna know what's working for you or what's not working for you. And the best thing that worked for me is when I started doing this, I really saw what ingredients worked well. If you have sensitive skin, something I can recommend, and I recommend this with everybody, but this has really helped me, is to get facials. It's gonna sound crazy, but facials to me aren't a luxury, they're a necessity. Because I have sensitive skin, because I have issues with my skin, sometimes it's really nice to see someone who knows what they're doing. Again, this is going back to the aggressive sampling area and talking to them about your needs and addressing your skin. When your skin's transitioning, when you're in your late 20s to early skirt, uh, skirties, <laughs> 30s, you're really going to notice that your skin's going to change a lot. You're going to go from what was probably normal skin to you, your new normal skin's going to be eh. But if you have sensitive skin, your skin's probably already going to be sensitive. If you don't have sensitive skin, you have the issue of it probably getting to be sensitive. It's just how it works. Um, it's not true. Again, that doesn't happen for everybody. This is just my experience with people I know and my own skin. So again, take this with a grain of salt. But going to get facials and actually talking to a professional where it's their business and their job and they are trained to work with your skin, to see your skin issues, to improve your skin, 
I think it is a fantastic tool. Now you can go to a dermatologist or you can go to a spa. Just go to somebody that you trust. I also think that facials are a really great way, I don't want to say to pamper yourself, but if you ever get just in the slumps with your skincare, it's really nice to get a facial, to come out from the facial and feeling revitalized and ready to jumpstart and be super into your skincare routine again. Um, and also again with the sensitive skin, you can talk to estheticians, you can talk to these people who have a knowledge of the products and the ingredients in the products and say, I've been sampling things, I've been using things, this hasn't worked, this is, hasn't been irritated my skin, and they can give you fantastic recommendations. Um, and especially when they're giving you a facial, you're a customer, they're able to be a little bit more intimate with you when it comes to your skincare and their recommendations, rather than just you going up to a counter at a cosmetic counter or a skincare counter and talking to someone who probably has your best intentions in mind rather than someone who has an intimate knowledge of your skin. Especially if you've been seeing someone for a few months or a few years, they'll be able to probably, depending on who you see and how good they are, remember your skin, see how it's improved and make real recommendations for you. Last and not least, and this is again another tip but it also works for everybody, but it's especially important, I think, for people with sensitive skin, is be ingredient brand a loyal. If you know that there's a line that works for your skin that you get good results, stick with it. Because sensitive skin is eerily, eerily, easily, eerily, eerily? easily irritated. For me, I noticed when I started really jumping from too many products too quickly, my skin didn't get any results even if they were good products and worked really well for me now. And at the same time, I would get really irritated. So what I noticed is, is if I stuck with a brand loyalty, which is what I do, um, it doesn't aggravate my skin because it's a lot of the same ingredients in different concentrations and in different applications, like a cleanser and a toner and a moisturizer and my sunscreen. So my skin's not getting shocked. <laughs> it's just getting cleansed and taken care of. Again, that does not mean go out and get the most expensive thing. I know I said in one of my videos, my skin likes expensive stuff, ha ha ha. I'm not really saying that in a bragging tone. It's more of like an ugh. Why does my skin only really like expensive stuff? It hates Nivea. It hates oil. La Mer. It loves SK2. It likes the cellular cis wine from... La Prairie. I'm naming all these expensive brands and I'm like crying and dying on the inside. Um, it doesn't like my, I hate, I'm not a huge fan of like Dior skincare or Chanel skincare. I don't think those work very well. Guerlain has some good skincare. I've tried. I haven't gotten into it because again, I really like La Mer and I'm trying to stay brand loyal because if I start breaking up and going into new products, my skin just explodes. It turns red, it breaks out, and it hurts. It hurts. But there's a lot of products out there that just my skin doesn't like. It doesn't. It's not a fan of those products or those ingredients. So really understanding brand loyalty and being sticking to a brand that works will help you get results without aggravating your sensitive skin. Last but not least is patience. Be patient with your skin. Be patient with the products. Don't overstress yourself. I found that when I get stressed, my skin goes crazy. If I'm stressing about my skin, and for a while I was stressing about my skin, I have first world problems. Like, the only thing I was worried about for a few months was my skin. Like, it was so bad. Like, it was the only thing I was, like, obsessing over it, and it made it worse. So bad. But don't stress over it, but you have to be patient. Again, if you tr sample things, if you're looking to see if a, a routine works for you, it's going to be at least... 30 days. I would say if you want to see the true nature of how these products work, it's going to be 90 days because you're going to see your uh, your scale, ugh, scale turnover, cell turnover. You're going to see an improvement and an improvement and an improvement. 
what I did and I actually don't have the photos anymore because these were from a few years ago when I started really getting into my skincare I actually did before and after photos and that really helped me be okay with spending the money I was spending on skincare because I saw up close and personal the results this is where I learned patience so I took I took the brightest light I could I'm like use this for example turn it on like this like super bright no makeup, no skincare, nothing on my face. I just washed my face and let it dry. And then like an hour or two, I took photos here of the side of my face and then in super close of areas that I was having issues with, like my forehead and my nose and my chin and my cheeks. And then I took a photo every 30 days and I saw an improvement. But the first 30 days, I wouldn't, you, I saw, I felt a noticeable difference, but I didn't see a noticeable difference. And I probably, like, if I hadn't have decided to do that, I might have given up on some of the products that I love because I didn't see the difference. But using the same products and being loyal to my skincare routine, like within 90 days, holy crap, my skin looked amazing. I did a vlog talkie time of a bare face where I go in really close for you guys. I will link that below. That was just a few days ago. Um, my bare face now, again, I kind of like talking to you guys about skincare bare face because I think if I'm going to talk to you about skin. I want you guys to see my skin. So I might start doing that. Just have it be what I do. But like, even though I have still have issues, <laughs> even though when I got my facial today, she's like, your pores are big. I'm like, you say that every time. She's like, you have big pores. I'm like, I know I have big pores, but they are so much smaller than they were a few years ago. They were like swimming pools. So now they're just like kiddie pools. <laughs> but like, it helped and that's patience. That was patience, that was brand loyalty, that's understanding that not all products, even if they're marketed to people with sensitive skin, would, wouldn't work for me. That was sampling. All of this stuff came together to help me develop a fantastic, fantastic skincare routine that does not irritate my sensitive skin where I saw maximum results. So if you have sensitive skin, and you're kind of like down in the dumps, depressed, things aren't working, you don't know how to jump into skincare, I hope you take this video and I hope it helps you. Do not feel afraid if products that people love don't work for you. Don't be sold on products that say for sensitive skin because sensitive skin is like a spectrum and sensitive things for sensitive skin might, your triggers for your skin might be different than the triggers in those products. So those products might even break you out or you won't see any results. The best thing I can recommend is a targeted skincare routine. Get facials just so you can at least have somebody on your side who has an intimate knowledge of your skin who can help you out and see real results and push you in the right direction and be patient it is so important to be patient give your skin time give your skin months to see a real result to see if products are working for you i know a lot of us me specifically want instant gratification we want to put that serum on we want to put on that moisturizer we want to wake up in the morning and we want beautiful perfect skin it doesn't work like that. So patience is key. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want some more skincare tips or anything like that, give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. If you want me to get more into my sensitive skin and the products that were triggers for my skin and the products that really soothed and just made my skin come alive and just get repaired and regenerate and look so much better than it was before be more than happy to go more into that i also have a morning and uh, nighttime not morning and midday skincare routine up i will link that below i'll be having my morning up soon um so i will have all those videos where i talk about my skin and my routine and products that i love and use um if you have any questions or you want to see what works and what works for my skin and what I like and what brands I think are fantastic. Also, like I said before, any brand I talk about and when I give them a review, I'm giving them a review based on the results of my skin. You will find, re uh, you will find reviews out there 
for a lot of the products that I call holy grail products that people think are ineffective or all hype or not worth the money, please understand those reviews are accurate. Skincare is different. That is why it is important to understand what works for your skin. But I can say with confidence that the products that I use in my skincare routine do not upset my sensitive skin, do not cause breakouts. I've seen fantastic results. And overall, I am ridiculously satisfied with everything in my routine currently. So if you want to see those products and my nighttime and midday routine, check them out below. And I will also link below again my vlog where I get up close and personal with my skin and talk to you about where I've been with my skincare and where I'm looking to go. Also, do not forget to subscribe because it is free and I am free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye.